My name was Blue. I'd like to tell you about the great life I lived. You see, I had two families. For almost nine years, I lived in a backyard, and my folks got pretty old and eventually weren't able to take care of me like they used to for a while. They had to tie me up outside, and then their daughter asked a rescue agency to find me a new forever family. Jim and Steph came to meet me, but they thought I was too big, and they really thought my poop was too big. And they didn't take me home at first, but my big sweet eyes could melt hearts. I was so excited when they came back to get me. They had a cat, and that was fine. We got along. I even shared my bed with her sometimes, for a while. I lived in a house again, and sometimes I would get away and run and run, and they would chase me all over the neighborhood. And just when they were about to catch me, I would look at them with a big smile and I would take off running again. Then I had to learn to walk with a leash. Jim and Steph learned how much I loved food. I had them wrapped around my finger, or rather my paw, and I could get them to fill my bowl with extra food and give me treats. And when I heard Dad crinkling his rice cakes bag, I would just look at him. Yes, I could beg like the best of them. And when no one was around, I'd go digging in the trash can for goodies. Yeah, I got a little fat, and the vet said I could drop a few pounds. But it's really hard to say no to these eyes. I remember once when my new mom and dad surprised me with my first ride on a boat. It was really fun. And next thing I knew, we were on a boat all the time. No more backyard. It was rides on the water to explore new places. And instead of car rides, we went on dinghy rides, and that was so cool. I went from living in a backyard to a life full of adventure. We traveled on a boat, and my backyard changed all the time. We'd stop and visit different towns and beaches. I got to smell so many different places. I would eat dead fish, crabs, shells, and birds, and for some reason, Mom would scream at me to drop it. No! I loved when people would stop and say hi to me as I'd lumber down the docks. They would often pat me on the head or give me a good rub around my big flabby neck. And then I'd continue on my way back to our floating home. As the years went on, my big body got really sore. I remember how I used to run free, and then even walks got very hard for me. A couple times, I'd have trouble getting on our boat, and I even fell in the water. It was so scary, but Mom and Dad would fish me out. I was getting pretty old. I was 14 now. I know how hard it was for mom and dad to say goodbye to me. We had such a great life together, but it was time. Someday, I know Jim and Steph will rescue another dog who will be oh so lucky, just like me.